Hi. It's um, January 2017, and um, I just would like to share with you my collection of um, handbags for um, this year. And it has entirely changed. Most of my um, Louis Vuittons have been sold, and as um, you can see, uh, my handbags right now are uh, more on the um, classic style. Okay, let's start off with um, this um, large Celine trapeze. It's an all leather handbag. Most of the trapeze handbags actually have um, suede wings. This is very big. It um, is actually 23 inches from um, side to side. And it is ac accented by um, gold tone hardware. It's actually very tricky to um, open and close this bag. You really have to um, sit down. <laughs> and um, I just want to show you the interior of the bag. So, it has. Uh, uh, by the way, if you're looking to um, buy an authentic um, Celine large trapeze, it took me a long time to look for um, the serial number. It is actually in the back pocket and it is over here it's very difficult to take it out so um okay so there you go it says celine made in paris i'm sorry made in italy and um it has a huge um dust bag and other uh, papers are here this is actually a very, very simple bag, classic bag, and um, it holds a ton. I rarely use it though because it's too big. And yeah, it's very simple, classic looking, and um, yeah, speaks elegance. Okay, let's move on to uh, Hermes. This is a vintage piece. Um, this is the... Uh, Vintage, I think this is in the 1970s, and it has a gold tone hardware and an ostrich um, skin, exotic skin. Okay, and um, okay, and um, this is the interior of the bag. It's um pretty um small but uh, holds just your phone and some you know essentials over there and it just says here oh dear it says here Hermes um made in France yeah I, I like the simplicity of this one okay so there you go and um let's move on to um Chanel this is my um, classic um, Chanel Chevron. Um, it has like an antique brass um, hardware chain and um, yeah, with the comfortable leather straps that sits on your shoulders. And I like this kind of leather. It's calfskin. It's like coated because it's not super high maintenance, if you know what I mean. I would like to um, own the lambskin but it, it gets easily scratched and um, all that. So that's interior. And that's a dust bag over there. And so there. Okay. And uh, we move on to my um, Dior. This is a very, very nice handbag. It has silver hardware and black uh, lambskin leather and it's like uh, very stretchy here in the middle it's kind of tricky to get in and out and um yeah i, I like this handbag because uh, you don't see a lot of um girls wearing this so so this is very very nice and it came with a huge huge box and uh, oh I, I stuffed it I stuffed it with uh, lots of um, bubble wrap inside to keep its um, shape okay so we move on to um, the next I still have uh, 
Oh, I bought um, a tricolor Epi No GM. Love this. Love the color. And this is one of my newest bags. It's the Fendi Two Jewelers. It's like in the Safiano patent leather. This resembles um, the Prada. And um, this is huge. I have not actually used it. I think I've used it once and that's it. Um, this is ideal for those who work in the office. And yeah, it has silver hardware, which is, I really like that because most of the handbags that you see right now have um, gold hardware. Okay. And, um, okay, still have this um, baggy PM denim Louis Vuitton designed by Marc Jacobs. Um, I kept that because it's very unique. You don't see a lot of people wearing... Um, uh, a denim Louis. This is um, the ideal elegy in GM size that comes with a strap. I like this too. It's like the mini lint version. And this is uh, my highest, uh, I would say this is my highest rated bag. This is by Barry Kisselstein Cord and he's a silversmith by profession. And this is just absolute perfection. It's um, one, it's all leather inside and out. And uh, yeah, his his works are actually uh, collected, highly collected by um, uh, by Hollywood stars. And uh, yeah, I just love this handbag. So this is, of course, made in Italy, and it's just superb. Okay, this is my, um, the only Michael Kors in my collection. This is uh, from his upscale line. Um, this is the uh, Gia Croc. It's like tangerine. This is Croc embossed. And uh, it's very, very sturdy. I love it. So, oh, I have uh, some wallets here and just to, yeah, to keep, keep its shape. Okay, and I still have this uh, Louis Vuitton, no, it's not Louis Vuitton, it's by Marc Jacobs, uh, multi-packet um, quilted I in ivory. So this is his, uh, with a gold chain and everything. So this is an original Marc's, Marc Jacobs bag, and he also designed this for Louis Vuitton when he was um, the creative director. Okay, but now he has been replaced by Nicolas Gasquier. Who used to be the creative director of Balenciaga so they're just moving from one fashion powerhouse to another okay I still have my two Balenciagas here this is the whistle bag it's like a speedy type that this is really big and this I still have my classic this is in rogue cardinal uh, plastic city bag I've barely used this and I have two kit bags vintage so it's beautiful okay all right this is a uh, uh, very very cramped in here but let me just show you um, okay this is my uh, Balmain Pierre Balmain vintage um, Paris original design and um, yeah so there it's cool it's like it has a Chanel-esque I had this um, I had this replaced because um, it was broken when I bought it now this is one of my newest um, purchases too is a Nina Ricci Paris it's a combination of leather and uh, I think that's like a, a canvas so I just love this I love saddle type bags they're very functional Okay, and this is my vintage Gucci, quilted um, Gucci. And uh, yeah, so. And um, look at the interior of the bag. It's very hard to film with pictures. Oh. Yeah, it has, um, yeah. And it has a gunmetal chain. Okay, 
and this is my ferragamo this is my favorite ferragamo it's very clean sleek classic and uh, yeah and it, this fits a ton actually you know don't be deceived by the size and i have my um marisa this is the Mar marisa uh handbag that i have never used i think i used this once uh, three years ago when we went to orlando for some reason uh the leather is a bit stiff but it's um softening a bit now so i think it uh you know as it ages okay i have three other uh, vintage ferragamo bags but i think they need a repair so okay this has like an hermes look it's a saddle type bag it's a crop embossed a uh, patent leather this is a vintage italian uh, francesco biagia and i have uh, another vintage bag here that has a versace look it's just so nice see look the hardware this is probably in the 1940s or in the 1950s but the interior is still in absolute gorgeous condition. Okay, and uh, this is, uh, I just purchased this last week. This is uh, an original Giorgio Armani handbag. And uh, the leather is interesting. It says exotic um, special skin in the label. And it's from their Le, Le Collezioni. This is made in Italy. And I just love this. I just love the hardware. Oh, jeez. And says Giorgio Armani. Italy. And, um, everything is just perfect there. Okay, and I have this. This is a Philip Lim handbag. This is from, um, this is a mini Pashley in Fuchsia. And it has very long straps. I got this at the discounted price at the Saks Fifth, Saks Fifth Avenue, and um, I haven't worn this. This has the tendency to become really, really heavy, and I don't like it when it weighs my. Uh, it weighs a ton. So, uh, how much did I pay? Yeah, so there. But I like this. This is very, very unique, and. This is my vintage um, uh, Gucci Jackie O with uh, like a ruffled, um, I, I, I'm really not sure of the material that is, is like a ruffled um, satin or yeah, something like that. Oh jeez. Okay. So we move on to, uh, this is my relaxing music actually. And uh, yeah, I have my my uh, <laughs> um, holder for necklaces there and oh this is cute um, uh, this is a silver this is a silver goldinger and a vanity tray mirrored and um, I have a vintage perfume dispenser there or diffuser or something like that okay so this this um cabinet the third cabinet has all my uh, vintage bags here and i think this is not this is not vintage this is via speaker but it's still here um i don't think i have time to do this so i'm just uh, gonna go ahead and do yeah okay i have a todd pebble grain leather this is uh, the this is the d-ring it's not the boleta it's it's the d-ring todds this is um very big so there and i have this this is a genuine um sheepskin it looks like bottega but um it's not but it's very very light i love this okay now this is my coach section uh, you know that i have a thing with coach i hate coach bags that ha have actually um, the C, the logo. But anyway, this has a subtle, you know, um, coach signature. So I have a patchwork here. I have this wallet, long wallet. I have this wallet. 
that came with this. That's the Madison. I think this is the leg. No, it's the Madison style. I like it. It's very, very, um, you know, it's nice. And this is my uh, go-to bag. Um, this is um, like their one of their classic styles. I just like this. Oh, why did I leave candies there? Okay. <laughs> there you go and I have two vintage coach bags here I love the vintage ones they're really well made they are super sturdy and yeah and I also have this this is super light but it's a, a coach um, it's very nice coach um, vintage bag so I'm just gonna show everything there okay so this section is uh, my vintage as well and my glittery <laughs> vintage handbags okay this is a Saks fifth tortoise shell i have a whiting and davis i have paloma picasso bags i have four of them let's see and this is one of my favorites this is a, um, a vintage suede and i have a white paloma picasso and i have this super nice paloma picasso there and uh, this is a cute and i have um, a yeah other vintage bags there okay so i have this i have the dunian burke uh, i used to have a uh, one in white but i gave it away um it's not like i'm gonna use this i'm, I'm never gonna use this <laughs> but it's just here and I still have my um, Made in Italy Grison handbag. It's big. I think I'm gonna have to give that away too. Okay. And I have a, I have a Dunienberg, Dunienberg zebra print here. Yeah. And uh, okay, let me just see uh, if I still have. This is a vintage Ferragamo. Vintage Ferragamo. There you go. Um, I just applied honey leather on them. So that's why um, it's outside. I'm sorry for the mess. Okay. I have some other handbags here. Mostly vintage though. I have a Dunian Burke here. I have this woven Carlos, Carlos Falci. I have another Ferragamo here. I've spent like $65 to have it redyed. Uh, yeah, I haven't used that though. And this is a vintage uh, Gansini. It's like a Safiano leather. And I have though these vintage bags. This is absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. It's um, it's a dark blue and it's a Parisian. Um, how do you call it? It's a Parisian vintage bag. I love it. And I have another. It's like a Chanel, Chanel-esque <laughs> vintage bag. And I have another quilted bag here, vintage. I have a Mark Cross handbag and yeah, things like that. Oh, maybe we still have time. Maybe I'll discuss some of my vintage bags here that are absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Um, okay. This is an original, um, uh, this is, uh, how do you call this? Uh, an ostrich, uh, ostrich skin. Or it could be ostrich embossed. Okay. This is my Timothy Hitzman suede bucket bag. This is my Lulu Guinness. Okay. This is my Estefan made in Italy handbag. And um, this is cute, really nice. This is a leather handbag. Uh, it's a vintage, I think it's a New York handbag. Um, this is so uh, yeah, croc embossed vintage bag. This is one of my favorites. It has a very rich and supple um, uh, leather with tassels, and it's yeah. And I have a, a, a made in Italy handbag too. This is a uh, Perlina New York in blue. Okay, and from here I have correct bags. Um, this is a oh shoot. This is like a loose side loose side handle absolutely gorgeous and uh, um, this is a correct handbag and this is a vintage um, H&Agner oh I, I just had this um, 
repaired because it broke I stuffed it with the uh, with a book and then uh, I dropped it and the strap broke <laughs> so I had it um, just repaired and this is a Vicky original handbag and I have other handbags there patent leather this is nice this is a Jane Shelton handbag lambskin super soft that's suede I have extra bags too that purple there is an extra bag okay this is one of my favorites this is an Italian handbag patchwork snakeskin and the, the interior of this is like a Louis it, it is absolutely um, just 100% suede and this is very very gorgeous handbag I've actually said that like a million times okay <laughs> and this one I got it in um, Sarasota and this is a genuine snake skin and this is from my mother-in-law she's had this for how many years like and this is a Garay satin bag and uh, a Lou Taylor oh no it's a, yeah you know um, best way to tell if uh, your vintage bag is authentic or not is you just look inside and some of them have mirrors some of them have uh, small wallets and well you just look at the opening and uh, yeah so there oh this is longer than I expected okay all right so there right there for now okay bye